And then another shocking incident takes lives and rattle the world. A van charges through a crowd of people outside a mosque, killing one and injuring more than 10 others. Kim Min Ji has more on, the, on what authorities believe is an act of terror. It's being investigated as another terrorist attack. A van rammed into a crowd of people leaving a mosque in London's Finsbury Park early Monday. From 21 minutes past midnight this morning, police received a number of calls to Seven Sisters Road following a van having collided with pedestrians. One man, as I've said, was pronounced dead at the scene. Eight others are in hospital and two more were treated at the scene. All the victims were from the Muslim community. But it is yet to be confirmed whether the man died as a result of the collision, as he was being given first aid by the public on the pavement before the vehicle was deliberately driven at pedestrians. Authorities have arrested the van's driver, a 48-year-old man, on suspicion of attempted murder. Eyewitnesses said the driver had said he wanted to kill all Muslims. The Muslim Council of Britain said the attack was a violent manifestation of Islamophobia and called for extra security around mosques. It's currently the Muslim holy month of Ramadan when people attend prayers at night. British Prime Minister Theresa May convened an emergency response meeting following the incident. May called the attack a sickening attempt to break bonds of citizenship that define the country, adding that hatred and evil of this kind will never succeed. It is a reminder that terrorism, extremism and hatred take many forms and our determination to tackle them must be the same whoever is responsible. There has been far too much tolerance of extremism in our country over many years. That is why this government will act to stamp out extremist and hateful ideology. The latest incident follows a series of attacks in the UK in recent months, including the ones in Westminster, Manchester and on London Bridge. Kim Minji, Arirang News.